Hi and welcome back to Killer Hardware. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to select the correct sash balance for your window type. You can use this video in conjunction with our sash balance finder. Typically, you will find three different type of uh, sash windows. So the first, which is probably one of the most common, is your double hung sash windows. Then you have single hung sash windows, which is what we'll be demonstrating on today. And they also come in aluminium, timber and aluminium. Okay, let's get started. I will show you how to find the right size sash balance using our very simple tool. The first thing to do is, if you do have an existing sash balance, the quickest way to determine the size of your sash balance is by removing one from your window and simply measuring the plastic tube. Only measure the plastic housing, not the metal foot attachment on the bottom. For double hung sash windows, we recommend measuring both spiral balances, the top and the bottom, because they may vary in size. For my window here, I'm going to choose the tube size 425 to 450 millimeters. If you don't have an existing sash balance to measure, you can always measure the overall height of your window. What I like to do is I like to open up the sash window so you can see the bottom of your window sill, uh, which is where you want to measure from, the bottom of your window sill to the, to the top side of the frame. So you're measuring the overall window height. And it's just a matter of getting a tape measure and sitting the tape measure on the window sill and going up along the side of your window till you get to the top underside of the window frame. So we're going to there. Uh, you will also find for timber sash windows, for double hung or single hung, you will find that they have what we call in the industry a horn on the end. If you're trying to replace the top sash of a double hung window and your window does not have a horn, when measuring your overall window height, deduct 60 millimeters off your measurement as our tool assumes your window has a horn. Now that's done and you've provided us with either the sash balance length or the overall window height, let us know what your window is made of. Generally this will be wood or metal like aluminium. So the one we've got here is timber. Uh, the next step we will need to do is weigh the actual window itself. The best way to weigh a, a sash window is to remove any of the existing spiral balances so that the window is sliding up and down on its own and there's nothing holding the weight of the window. Now what I like to use is just a block of timber. It is important that your scales are sitting on a flat surface, otherwise you will not get an accurate weight reading. So what we do is we slide the window open, we sit the block on the window sill, and we slowly lower the window. You will also need the diameter of the spiral balance. And the reason is different spiral balances come in different diameters and in different colors. I prefer to use the metal rulers um, just because of the starting point of the ruler, it just makes it a lot easier. And you simply measure the diameter. The next thing to do is to measure the rebate of the window, the cutout where the actual spiral balance will be sitting in. And I've got this window here, which makes it a lot easier to see. So that is a rebate, and that is where your spiral, spiral balance is housed into. The rebates come in three different sizes, and you will see that this one here is 14 millimeters in diameter, so it's a 14 millimeter rebate. So we will need to use a 12 millimeter 
spiral balance. This allows a bit of clearance between the frame and the window. So it eliminates any friction and allows your window to slide up and down. And here is our search result. And we have four results of the same item, but they are available in different colors. Order today 